Uh, I'm Yu Gang Lin. I come from the Department of Engineering Physics, uh, Tsinghua University. My major is uh, reactor physics, so our research um, focus on the uh, reactor physics code and uh, the solium field reactor design. So my topics include two parts. First, uh, I will give an uh, introduction to our uh, calculation platforms and include the code and the libraries. Then I will introduce some solium reactor design based on our uh, uh, solium project. Uh, for example, the fast reactor <coughs> and uh, PWR. How first is the calculation platform. So with the requirement of the uh, accurately the three-dimension modeling of the new concept reactor, for example, the solium field reactor, the molten salt reactor, and the uh, supercritical water reactor, and, uh, and so on. So it's very really hard to uh, calculate the reactor physics parameters uh, accurately lately. So uh, with the development of the Monte Carlo, uh, development of the high performance computers, the Monte Carlo method is becoming uh, more powerful tools in the core analysis and uh, receiving the lightning atten attention. Uh, Monte Carlo code, uh, for example, the MCMP and the Kano and others have been widely used in the new, new concept the physics designs. And uh, the Monte Carlo code has some advantage. First, it can handle very complex uh, geometry problems and uh, it can use the both point-wise and multi-group uh, neutral cross-section libraries. And uh, the calculation time independent with the problem's dimensions. The fourth and uh, is very important, the Monte Carlo code uh, can is easy to parallel uh, in the high-performance uh, computers. Also, the, the Monte Carlo code has some disadvantages. And the first is uh, the code is will use more time than some traditional code. The, the second is uh, result of the Monte Carlo code uh, random variables. <coughs> so for our uh, libraries, if, if we use to uh, if we want to calculate the reactor physics problems, we have decided to develop our own Monte Carlo code, RMC. So I will introduce our motivation and uh, give a general introduction and uh, some current progress on RMC code. And then I will introduce our uh, temperature dependent neutral cross sections. First is our motivation to develop the Monte Carlo code. We all know with the development of the computer technology, uh, Monte Carlo code is widely uh, is more widely used than before in our reactor physics field. And uh, the traditional code, MCMP and other code from the US and Europe or Japan, we cannot easily to get it. And uh, especially we cannot get the new version of this code, for example, the MCMP. So we have to, uh, uh, to build our own uh, code system. And, uh, we, this RMC means a reactor Monte Carlo code. So we have uh, is a neutron transport code being developed in our department, and uh, we have uh, released this code uh, this September this year. And uh, we have used many more than five to ten percent in the development in this code. And uh, now we have done some work to improve the, uh, improve the efficiency and the function of the RMC code in the solium field, so in the solium field reactor uh, design. First is the parallel 
we all know the Monte Carlo method is time consuming and uh, is new to simulation simulators and billions of particles in the reactors. So we can we must use the parallel technique to accelerate his, this uh, calculation period. The in the MC parallel charge uh, compared with the MCMP code, we use this uh, uh, peer mode in RMC. So every flavor computer uh, is peer. In the traditional uh, code, uh, for example, MCMP, is used the master flavor mode. So uh, these two modes will influence the accelerating speed up ratio. And we use a large scale parallel core uh, to test these two uh, parallel studies. Uh, this figure shows the reactor model, the famous uh, reactor calculation models uh, in our uh, reactor physics field. And uh, we perform this uh, calculation on MCMP and uh, on MC. So the computing platform we used is the uh, Explore 100, is our uh, Tsinghua University high performance computer platform, which ranked in number one in Chinese university and uh, ranked uh, 211 in uh, top 500 in the world. Uh, this table shows the top 10 computer in the world and we, we can find that all these uh, computer, top computers have more than uh, the first one you mo have more than one million cores in this computer. Mm -hmm. So we, for us, we must develop a uh, parallel code to use all these cores. And uh, this table shows our uh, multi-core uh, comparisons on different number amount of uh, CPUs. And uh, we, as, uh, we use more than eight hundred cores in our calculation. This table. Uh, uh, this, this figure shows uh, our speed up comparison between the MCMP and RMC code. The red line is the speed up ratio of RMC and the, the black line is the MCMP. Maybe we use the MCMP is a very old version, but uh, anyway we can find the red line shows our RMC has a very good parallel uh, capability. And uh, also, the tally is very important in the four core analysis. So in the in many tally calculation, we can compare the MCMP and the MC code. We can find if the tally number is more than uh, one hundred thousand, the MC can be great and advantage on uh, computer time. Okay. Uh, second is the benchmark. We all know the benchmark is, uh, is the main part in the reactor physics calculations. So MC code can perform the benchmark calculation. It has, uh, it has a high accuracy and uh, efficiency. So we use some uh, uh, case to test this uh, function of MC. First is the PW pin, is a single pin. Mm -hmm. So we can pair the MC code with the customer code. Is a famous uh, traditional uh, reactor physics code. So the result is, uh, is good. And the second is important. We test a PWR25 assembly set. So uh, the, in this uh, case, there are more than 6,000 independent uh, band lab area. So it's a very large amount in our calculations. Uh, RMC can perform the more than uh, co uh, calculation more than uh, ten thousand independent band lab areas. So we can use the code to perform the nearly whole core uh, band lab calculation. Okay, this figure shows the result. So. Through the figure, uh, we can find the result is the same. Now, we, I will talk about the, the neutron cross sections. For the calculation in sodium reactors, the temperature in, uh, dependent cross section that is very important to perform uh, neutron uh, thermal coupling calculations. 
uh, in our uh, calculation, the enjoy and the uh, impact uh, code, which uh, create uh, generating the cross section level list, cannot meet our requirement because this code uh, have a long uh, computing time. And uh, we use our own code XSP to perform the cross section generating, and we use the fast Doppler blotting method to generate the AC format cross section libraries. This is the XSP procedure similar to Enjoy code. And uh, this is our uh, uh, parallel Doppler blotting uh, figures. Uh, this figure shows the result between these two codes, XSP and uh, ENJOY. Uh, is, uh, the figure shows the Uranium 2C8 cross-section. So we can find uh, from this figure the ENJOY and the XSP can get the same result. This, uh, this table shows the calculating times uh, between the ENJOY and the, the RSSP, uh, fast Doppler blotting. This uh, column shows the uh, calculating times for this new client. And uh, the fourth column shows the calcula calculating time. Uh, we can find from this table the, the RSSP has a more than uh, very large uh, speed up ratio. OK. Based on our XFP code, we uh, generated uh, some temperature-dependent neutron cross-section libraries to perform calculation. And uh, our library comes from the EDF, EDFB lab, uh, uh, includes three parts, and uh, includes uh, 16 temperature points. And uh, this uh, library is uh, ACE format to, used in, to be used in the MCMP and MC code. From our calculation, we can find a difference of the thorium 2C2 date between the NDFB6 and the B7. Uh, these two figures show the difference of the calculation result uh, in different cases. We can find uh, uh, in same uh, same models, these two libraries will get a result of how more than 2% error is a very large uh, error in the react uh, calculation. The reason is the difference of all the cross section between these two libraries. Uh, this uh, red line and the blue line show the cross section, cross section between these two libraries. We can find that there are great difference. So in our calculation, we, we must use the new version of the libraries. OK, uh, conclusion. With this uh, MC code and XSP code, for we use these two code com combined system to in our uh, solium field uh, solium field based reactor design. So uh, we can use these two code to replace the MCMP and uh, enjoy. Okay, use this uh, code. We can we design some uh, solium field reactors. I will introduce two samples. One is uh, our uh, solium based small fast reactor, and second is our uh, solium based uh, PWR. Uh, first is uh, solium based long life reactors. So we all know uh, solium is a fertile nuclide, and uh, many, there are many uh, thermal reactor designs. For example, the high temperature gas reactor and the CANDU uh, has been have used the, or, or test the solium as fuel. And uh, in fast reactor, the, traditionally, the solium is used as a bleeding nuclide. And uh, in fact, uh, the solium and the uranium fuel could be used in the fast reactor as fuel because the uranium 2CC has a good fission capability. Uh, I think the uranium 2CC has a better performance on calculation more than the plutonium 2C line. And uh, this figure shows the fission conception of these two, these two nuclei. 
the blue line in the plutonium and the, the red line in the uranium-233, we can find from this figure. Uh, for the same region, the cross-section of the plutonium is larger, but in the median and the, the faster spectrum, the fission cross-section of the uranium-233 is larger than the plutonium. Uh, in the long life core design, traditionally they used the plutonium uh, uranium oxide as the main fuels and uh, to get the long life core. Uh, the, we want the reactor to have a core life more than 10 years or more than, uh, more than 80,000 uh, megawatts. Yes, this is burn up. Uh, consider the advantage of the uranium 2 3 ship it has a better fissile capability and the advantage will increase with the softer spectrum or low enrichment so it will benefit to design a reactive void coefficient and uh, the low neutron fluence with the same specific, specific power will increase the life of the cladding in the same burn up and, uh, we use the mixed fuel, uh, we mix the solar and the suspended fuel plutonium to use in the long life core designs. And uh, the new product, uh, uranium 2 cc will comp compensate the react reactivity lost from the plutonium, and uh, even if the convention ratio is smaller than 1. It will decrease the demand to the convention ratio, and uh, increase, we can Include the p ratio in our design to enhance the lateral circulation ability. This figure shows our uh, design cross section, and uh, this table show show the parameters. We use the RMC and XP these two code to perform the calculation. Uh, this table shows the, the Result, the physics uh, characteristics. Uh, I will give to I, and the table later to I will give the de detailed uh, discussion. In our design, the the sodium long long life fast reactor has a high burn up and uh, nearly zero reactor reactivity swing with burn up and a large PD ratio. Low, lower neutron fluence. These two figures show the reactor spin, reactivity swim with burn up, and the, the, the right figure shows the spectrum. Uh, this figure shows the fissionable nuclear enrichment uh, through the burn up, and uh, this table shows the fission fraction with uh, different nuclide. Uh, for example, the uranium 2 cc in the beginning of life, uh, the percent is uh, zero. And uh, in the end of life, the uranium 2 cc will uh, uh, about half of fission fl come from the uranium 2 cc. This will benefit the uh, void coefficient. Uh, this model is all, uh, we use this model to calculate the void coefficient. And the core, the core is divided to eight parts in radial direction. Uh, from our uh, calculation results, the four core in the beginning of life, the void coefficient is uh, positive, and the, in the end of life, the void coefficient is negative. For fast reactor, is uh, is is very important for the negative void coefficient, and uh, this figure shows the void coefficient in different uh, part in the core. Uh, in, in the middle of the core, the void coefficient is also positive, but uh, in the outer part, the void coefficient is negative. And uh, this table shows the main parameters uh, compared to other uh, long life core designs. And uh, we can find that in the sodium based uh, reactors, we can get uh, high burn up and uh, it has a high P 
federation will, which will benefit the thermohydronics. And uh, why we can get some advantage is because of the uh, sodium fuel. You, we use the sodium fuel so we can get some benefit from the benefit from the uranium two fifty. Okay, uh, conclusion. The sodium fuel can be used in the long life core reactor design. And that the uranium 233 has some good characteristics in medium and faster neutral spectrum. And uh, the sodium fuel can solve the problem of conventionally show decrease in long life core. The sodium fuel will benefit the long, longer life design for its lower neutral fluence. Okay. Then I will introduce some of our works on the PWRs using the sodium fuels. Uh, PWR is uh, very important, the most important uh, reactor in our uh, world. So it has great amount. And uh, so if we can use the sodium in the PWRs, maybe the, we can increase, uh, improve the sodium utilization rate. This is our uh, calculation model. Uh, it, this is the uh, fuel assemblies. We use some fuel uh, load in this uh, assembly. Uh, we use uh, the, the sodium fuel as a single load or mixed with the uranium. Uh, the right figure shows our uh, core model calculation. Uh, in our uh, calculation, we use different designs. Uh, the, the red load is uh, uranium load and the uh, blue load is uh, solar load. We use uh, dip uranium 235 as a German field uh, with different enrichment. And uh, this table shows the calculation conditions. Uh, from our result, we can get some conclusion. First, uh, the sodium fuel will decrease the reactivity spin. Uh, second, is a separated fuel model is better than mixed model in reactivity. And the uh, sodium fuel load should be evenly distribution in the assemblies. And uh, this uh, figure shows the sodium utilization ratio in different conditions uh, for. Uh, we use different design to increase, we want to increase the sodium utilization ratio. And uh, this figure shows the temperature and the void coefficient. This figure shows the whole core calculation result. We use the MC to perform the core calculation, uh, one step method. Uh, this uh, figure shows the power distribution. And uh, this uh, slide shows the sodium consumption ratio that we have spent up. So for the PWR uh, condition, uh, the sodium uh, consumption ratio is about 5% is not very really high. And uh, we also do some research work on other reactor design. We use the sodium fuel in the Kandu reactor and the super critical water reactor, and the Chavalin wave reactor and the fusion fission hybrid reactor. Uh, from our research, we can get some results. Uh, conclusion. Uh, the first, the sodium fuel has some special advantage in some reactor designs. And uh, I, we think the utilization of sodium will not influence the safety of uh, traditional reactors. Uh, uranium 2CC is the best fissile nuclide, both in the thermal and the faster neutral spectrum. And uh, the sodium fuel can be used in different reactors. Well, anyway, I, we need to determine a best way to use the sodium. The sodium can be used uh, in different reactors, but maybe not every design has the best performance. So maybe the 
molten salt reactor is the best way to use the sodium. So our the next step is to use the sodium to use the sodium in the molten salt reactor. We hope uh, with the online separation of the spent fuel, maybe we can use the maybe the sodium fuel will get the best performance in the molten salt reactors. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm, I'm Mark Halper. I'm a freelance journalist. I'm here blogging for the Weinberg. Mm. Um, and um, I just wanted to pick up on a slide you showed at the very end, mm. saying uh, you're putting, or looks like you're putting thorium into a traveling wave reactor. Uh, yeah, we, we tried uh, to use the thorium in the traveling wave reactor uh, uh, test, or uh, we tried to uh, not, not, not very, uh, we don't have some calculation, but uh, we just calculation and uh, no detailed designs. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, but did you, uh, you ran some, uh, what, some simulations or? Uh, yeah, uh, simulation. Um, I think the sodium uh, uh, the in this uh, reactor type, I think the sodium fuel is similar to the plutonium and the uranium, no great difference. And one mm. quick follow-up on that. Did you inform Mr. Gates? For, what? <laughs> well, that's, that's Bill Gates' reactor design. What? But because the wave, this reactor is very, uh, two years ago, this reactor is very hot. But now I think it's not very hot. <laughs> Hi, I'm Martin van Staden from Steenkamp Skraal Thorium Limited in South Africa. Uh, thanks for an excellent presentation. Uh, I have a question. Can your uh, code simulate a pebble bed uh, thorium field reactor? What, what thorium field? Can your software, the RMC, RMC yes. can you simulate a pebble bed reactor? Simulate a Pebble bed reactor. Pebble? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, we, you know, in our Chihuahua University, the, we uh, developed the high temperature pebble reactor. Uh, now, just now, we, just, uh, we have a cooperation project to use the IMC in the pebble reactor. But now we have no uh, results, just uh, modeling. Have you done a lot of code validation? Will RMC be um, accepted by the regulator? Mm, sorry, sorry. What? For safety calculations, for instance? Uh, yeah. Sorry, can you uh, Yes. Do you want to ask the RMC is already accepted by the regulator? Oh, no, 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 no. We just uh, released the uh, beta version to our, uh, in China, to other institutions and uh, universities to test uh, this uh, code. But uh, I think uh, maybe the MCMP is not accepted by, the, uh, by this uh, department, maybe. But the uh, MCMP is, we all think about the MCMP is, uh, is uh, accuracy and is correct. So I think because, because of the Monte Carlo method. So uh, in our... Uh, mm, you know, uh, op uh, option. I think uh, I don't see no problem in th in this field. Thank you. <laughs> I just connected with uh, uh, this doctor's question. Mm. Uh, I also would like to know. Mm. Yeah, uh, do you have or do does Tsinghua University mm -hmm. have any uh, future program mm -hmm. to do the V and the V for your RMC yeah. code? Yeah. Yes. Uh, we have we have some cooperation with uh, with our China uh, nuclear agency nuclear uh, nuclear safety agency. We have some uh, cooperation with them. So we want to use the this RMC code in their work in our actually work uh, to have uh, to perform the test and to check if this code can be used in in their in their. Uh, in their check, in their check to their reactors. My, uh, my name is uh, Moto Kinoshita of University of Tokyo. Oh, yes. uh, my question is about the uh, first uh, reactor uh, yeah. calculation. Oh. Mm. And uh, I think the uh, 
parameter for the design is mm. rather standard, modest. For example, 90,000 megawatt per uh, ton is you, quite you uh, high or too uh, high? No, no. I, I, for me, mm. uh, from my experience, it is achievable uh, range. And mm. uh, so, uh, I mean, megawatt per ton, if it is. Mm. I, I mean, the, uh, do you have any uh, future plan to uh, uh, do some experiment uh, in your <laughs> first breeder reactor uh, in this uh, thorium field? To do experiment, you mean to build a new uh, reactor? Yeah, I mean, you have already fast breeder reactor, yeah. uh, uh, kind of test reactor. Do you have any uh, t uh, to testing? To plan to build a long life reactor, you mean? Uh, just may, not only for the uh, design study, but also do you have any, for example, the uh, make uh, fuel and put into the fast breeder reactor? Fast what what reactor? reactor? Fast reactor in, your, in Beijing. Okay, sorry, sorry. just a moment. I just give explanation. Okay. In our design of the long life core, so we choose the parameter that is is below the limit limitation. So uh, for the experiment, I think uh, uh, in US the faster reactor fuel, uh, the the burnup can extend to 150,000 megawatt uh, per, per ton uranium. So for our for the experiment, I think uh, in China the fast the faster reactor. Uh, project, uh, they maybe they will do the, such experiment, but uh, now the, the such experiment uh, will cost, uh, cost too much money. Maybe they will not do it. They will just, I think, they will just use the existing uh, technique. Okay, thank you. I just a moment. I think this question may be uh, Dr. Gur, mm. uh, the first speaker of our. Oh. This session, maybe he can give us some comments for your question. Mm. Probably I can give a, a very short information about the China fast reactor. And as I understand what you are asking the Professor Yu about this question. Actually, we just finished the, our construction of the fast reactor last year. But now we try to, to do some experiment for next year. But uh, actually, we are still some problem. For instance, for the, for, uh, the, the fuel, we import it from the Russian. Do you understand? So uh, I cannot give you the official answer from this question. But actually, if we want, if we play, uh, we, we are planning to do some the experiment, of course, we can do the cooperation with the Tsinghua University to do this kind of the simulation. They are just to check if the code is okay or not. That is, I am not an official, so I could not get you the certain answer. I just give us a feeling. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Gu. Thank you for your kind help. Okay, we may have another. Yes, please. Thank you, Jean-Pierre Revol from CERN. Mm. Uh, you know, it's very nice and important to have a code that you can use to s simulate systems, but then you, you need to have a strategy and decide what you want to, to optimize. And if one of the issues is to maximize burn up, which I suppose should be one of the things that you want to achieve, then it's clear you have to go to fast, uh, fast system for simple reasons is that, you know, the capture cross sections on fission fragments are much smaller and so, uh, you know, so, sorry, you, can you, you repeat your question? You don't I'm need I'm to not. simulate all the possible systems in the world. You have to have a strategy and try to optimize with respect to a certain number of parameters. And the, one of those parameters is burn up, that it is clear you have to go to a fast system. You know, in the US there was experiment in, uh, in that domain that showed that you can have fuel that uh, withstands 100 uh, gigawatt day per ton. Mm. And uh, we've confirmed with some simulation of the 
which was done at CERN with, uh, with uh, a code which is uh, also Monte Carlo code that we reach 150 gigawatt uh, day per ton. Uh, so uh, th I think this is the way to go. Uh, but of course, I mean, you can keep simulating can-do systems and things like that that will not bring you to very high burn-ups. Yeah, as my understanding, it's your nice comments for this presentation, right? <laughs> so, yes, actually, in China, we now hold the different types of reactor. It's also what is the nation, national strategy for the future energy development. It's still uh, not easy to answer this question here, but I believe optimization of all the energy system and including the optimization of burn-up. It's also one research topic and also objective of our nuclear, uh, nuclear energy development. Okay. okay, yes. Hello, uh, my name is Mark Ho from Australia, uh, Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organization. First, thank you very much for your very informative uh, presentation. My question is, uh, how, you would, how would you couple your thermohydraulics code oh. with your MCMP code? Uh, we just uh, ready, the for the, uh, ready for the coupling of the uh, uh, neutronics and the thermohydronics. Uh, we have done some research based on the MCMP code. We use MCMP and uh, CFX, CFX to perform the calculation. Okay, excellent. Because uh, I was wondering how you would say, you, you said you parallelized your MCMP code, mm, and mm. I know that there's lots of work now to mm. parallelize the CFD code as well, and whether you're doing any uh, work in parallelizing your CFD code. Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, last question. Uh, my name is Shimazu of University of Fukui, Japan. Mm. Uh, I heard your very nice presentation of, of RCM, R, uh, R, MC, MC. MC, yeah, that. And uh, have you published in some open journal of your result, recent result of this? You, you, you published some papers? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, yes, we have uh, published some papers on the Burn up uh, aglycon and uh, the, this MC code in some uh, journals or in some international conference. For example, the Pfizer, Pfizer, two thousand and twelve, and uh, we uh, we also published one paper about the, our burn up in the annuals of nuclear energy. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm. Okay, so, thank you again, and uh, let's thank you, Dr. Yu, again.